Question everything. One of the most critical skills in life is the ability to question. The courage to ask why. The curiosity. I've always been a kid who asked why, but ever since I found the carnival diet, it really opened my eyes and allowed me to find the truth. I mean, how are we ever meant to find the truth if we don't question things? In a day and age where everything is falling apart, the ability to question things is so, so important. It is the ability to discern from right and wrong. If they got everything wrong about nutrition, who says they didn't get things wrong about other stuff? And the answer to that question, yes, they did get other stuff wrong. Sunscreen, wrong. Skin products, wrong. Shampoo, wrong. A lot of the medical treatments are wrong. A lot of things on how to earn money, such as to go through the education system, is just wrong. And many other things I can't talk about on this platform, wrong. And I'm so blessed to have adopted this mindset at such a young age, and I hope that you can too. Now, I want you to question everything, including me. I'm not some special guy who knows the answers. Question me as well. That is how I grow as well. If people question me and keep me accountable, then I have to tell you the truth. Because if you're all questioning what I'm saying, you're going to find out if I'm lying or not. So I have to tell the truth. The worst thing you can do is be like everyone else. There are so many brain-dead, mindless zombies roaming around society who do not question anything, even at the expense of their own health. I do understand why people don't question often, though. It's uncomfortable, it's leaves, it makes you leave your comfort zone, and as humans, we naturally tend to take the path of least resistance. However, if you really want to make something out of this life, or want to make a change in other people's lives, you need to question. I mean, look at people like Bill Gates, Marcus Aurelius, famous philosophers and entrepreneurs. Do you think they just sat there and listened to what they were told? Or did they question everything? Obviously, they would have questioned. If they listened to everything they were told, they'd be the same as everyone else. Average. This is the critical skill that separates you from the rest. Do you really want to be a sheep? This is how revolutions occur. A group of people get together in a room and start to question everything. This is how we advance as a society. You are a very dangerous person if you question. You are someone to be feared of. If everyone adopted this mindset, the world would be a complete different place. The government would have nowhere near as much control over us as they do now. Now, I'm not telling you to go out there and protest and make a big fuss. What I'm saying is think of what you're told and actually question, actually, it doesn't have to, it might not be wrong, but the ability to just think for a second, hang on a sec, is that correct what I've been told? and just think for yourself. Because at the end of the day, it is your own health and your own life. No one is coming to save you. So, if I listen to what the government told me and it made me very sick, they don't care. So, you have to take your health into your own hands. Now, I do think that the government's main way of keeping us to conform to them and to keep us to listen to what we're told is by malnourishing us. When we are malnourished, we are mentally unstable, we don't have optimal brain function. I mean, we can't even take care of our own health, so how can we have the brain power to question other people and people above us? Over the past few months, I've slowly been trying to unlearn everything I've learned. Everything that I've been told from family and friends, the government school, and I've been trying to slowly readopt the mindset where I know the answers for myself. Now this is extremely hard, because I believe the indoctrination begins as young as when you're in preschool. Now, a lot of what they're saying may be right, but I'd like to know for myself, and I assume you would as well, if it is actually correct, because a lot of it isn't. So the act of just sitting there and thinking, hmm, is what I've been told correct, is very, very powerful. I think a lot of people lack that skill in this day and age. Now, even all these people who don't question, if their health is seriously deteriorating, they won't even take a second and think, oh no, it's definitely not this, it's definitely not the plants, or what the government is telling me. It's like they are just blinded minions of the upper authority and will do anything to defend them, even at the cost of their own health. And the crazy thing is, when you start to question, you start to lose friends. As soon as you even suggest the idea that what we've been told is wrong, everyone thinks you're crazy. Now, this isn't even saying it's wrong. It's just suggesting and bringing up the idea. I'm sure I would have way more friends than a lot of people would like me if I followed a more balanced diet and had vegetables. But deep down, I know I would be living a lie. I would not be happy, I would still be ill and unhealthy, and I care way more about my own health than what others think of me. Now, I think there are two main reasons why people seem to think you are crazy when you start to go against the grain and question what you were told. Number one, they are actually so brainwashed and they're actually a slave to the system. So they generally think it's right. Number two, people are too much of a wuss and too afraid to escape their comfort zone. So when they see you bettering your life, questioning stuff, making changes, 
they become insecure, so they try to bring you back in and keep you weak like them. It's sort of like that crabs in a bucket analogy. The bottom of the bucket crab will try and bring all the ones at the top to the bottom. I mean, this isn't just the carnival diet, but when I've started the carnival diet, the amount of crazy impressions and faces people have gave me is unreal. And I'm sure you would have had that too. People saying, oh, where are you getting your vitamins from? What about fiber? That's not very safe long term. You're going to get a heart attack. It's like people only seem to question you when you, they see your life getting better. No one questions you when you eat vegetables and you follow a balanced diet. But as soon as you go against the grain, for your own health, they all go crazy. People don't even know what vitamins are in vegetables for the first place. Don't really blame them. I was the same. I didn't even think there was any nutrients in meat. I didn't even, I didn't even think there was any micronutrients in meat. I thought it was literally just the protein and you get your vitamins from the vegetables. It's really not that hard to find out for yourself. The answers are at your fingertips. All you have to do is sit there for a second and think, hang on, that doesn't seem right. I mean, it doesn't really take much research to search up online nutrients in meat, nutrients in vegetables. Why would you not want to know this stuff? You put food into your body two, three, even four times a day. So surely you'd want to know what you're putting into your own body. One of the most important things to know, it affects everyone. If you're parents and you have kids, you want to know what's the best foods to give them. Friends and family, grandparents, you want to know what's the best food to give them. So it affects everyone, so you need to know. Ah, uh, the amount of people who are just so idiotic, it's truly sad. Don't actually know if they're actually just that brainwashed, or they just don't want to leave their comfort zone. Now, there aren't many people like us. People who generally want to find the truth. People who want to question what they're told in order to seek the truth. It's really hard to find good friends nowadays who have a similar mindset. It's actually really hard. Now I'm so blessed because studying this YouTube channel and my Instagram account, I found so many friends and so much positive support from you guys who have just been, you know, people like me, people who want to seek the truth and actually stand up for their own health and question the government and what they're told. Now my purpose of this YouTube channel is to help people learn the truth about nutrition and educate them and make content for you guys. But along with that, It'd be sick to cultivate a group of people who question everything and all have a similar mindset so we can all find the truth together. Now that is really scary if you think about it. It truly is a danger to society, in a good way though. Someone that's really inspired me to question everything and seek the truth is Joey Schwartz. If you want to see our interview with him, check out this video right here where we question everything, all the lies we've been told, and we debunk all myths about nutrition.